Hey, I'm Lou Hablis, and I'm here to help you pass the CISSP exam by teaching you how to correctly read and understand CISSP questions and pick the best answer. Here is today's question. A company wants to donate old employee laptops to a charity. Which of the following would be the best method for sanitizing the laptop's hard drives? Before dissecting the question further and looking at the answers, let's quickly examine what is meant by the word sanitizing as well as potential sanitization methods. At its core, sanitization is used to prevent data remnants, data, potentially valuable data, that might remain on media after a system has reached end of life and is being prepared for disposal. In this case, disposal means being cycled out of an organization and donated. Three primary sanitization types exist, destruction, purging, and clearing. Each type includes one or more methods. Let's look at each type a bit more closely. Destruction involves physically destroying the media that the data is stored on by melting it, incineration, breaking it into pieces, shredding or disintegration, or by causing phase transition of the material, degaussing. Physical destruction of media is the best way to delete data. Purging is a data deletion technique where data cannot be reconstructed by any known means. Encryption, specifically crypto shredding, is a popular purging technique. Additionally, degauss is considered a type of destruction as well as a type of purging. This is because degaussing techniques often render media unusable as well as data unrecoverable, but the media typically remains intact. Clearing is a data deletion technique where data may not be reconstructed by any known means. Overwriting, wiping, erasing, and formatting are all common clearing techniques. Similar to degauss straddling destruction and purging, encryption straddles purging and clearing. This is because crypto shredding, if done properly, should render the data purged, unrecoverable. But the encrypted data is still there. If, for example, a new weakness was found in the encryption algorithm or quantum cryptography suddenly becomes a thing, then maybe, just maybe, the data could be recovered. And therefore, it's not purging, but clearing. It straddles the two types of sanitization. While looking at the different types of sanitization, did you pick up on an important differentiation between purging and clearing? With purging, data cannot be reconstructed by any known means. With clearing, data may not be reconstructed by any known means. This also means, however, that it may be reconstructed. In fact, Technology has existed for years that renders most clearing methods trivial to overcome and data cleared by one of the methods noted can oftentimes be recovered. With a better understanding of sanitization types and in order to understand this question and be able to identify the best answer, we need to identify the key words. The first key word is donate, which means giving something away, which also implies the gift will be reused. Regardless of the sanitization method, the drives must remain viable. The final key words are employee laptops, company assets that may contain valuable information. So we're looking for a sanitization method that will remove any trace of employee or company information from the laptops and still allow them to be donated and used by another organization. Let's now examine the question and answers more closely. While destruction, answer D, is typically the best option, it won't work here because the donated laptops would be rendered unusable without new replacement hard drives. We're trying to help out a charity, right? Similarly, degaussing, answer A, which utilizes very powerful magnets to eliminate data, will also not work because of the fact that functional components of hard disk drives are typically rendered inoperable as a result of the degaussing process. We can eliminate these two answers from further consideration. Let's take a closer look at answers B and C, clearing and purging. Recall that with purging, data cannot be reconstructed. With clearing, data may not be reconstructed. There's a big difference between the two. Cannot means no way, while may not also implies may. 
In other words, a way might exist or be identified to reconstruct the data. For the sake of donating the equipment and being assured that employee and organizational data remnants is not an issue, answer C, purging, is the far better answer as the data cannot be reconstructed by any known means. Thank you for watching this video. If you're preparing for the CISSP exam, my colleagues Rob Witcher, John Birdie, myself, and our team have been helping professionals like you prepare to confidently pass the challenging CISSP exam for more than 20 years. We love guiding folks to become better security professionals and to achieve the coveted and well-respected CISSP certification along the way. If you're interested in finding out more about our CISSP Masterclass, then please check us out here at DestinationCISSP.com. Finally, if you found this video helpful, you can hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to be notified when we release additional videos in this question and strategy series, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thanks very much for watching and all the best in your studies.